Cigarettes after sex. K. Period. Exclamation point. Question mark. I don't know what to tell you. If the if he used a capo, if the guitarist singer guy from Cigarettes After Sex, who I assume his first name is Cigarettes, last name is Sex, middle name After, if he used a capo on the first fret, it would have made all of our lives so much easier. But he chose not to, and now we're stuck here in this unfortunate situation. We need to learn the intro riff. And the truth is, once you learn that main intro riff, you could just play that throughout the entire song and you'd be good to go. But I'll give you some other, there's a little guitar solo. There's like a part where the guitar drops out and just the bass is playing. I'll show you also the acoustic guitar part. You can play with it. That we will play with a capo. So if you don't want to mess with all this nonsense, why am I talking so much? Every time I talk so much at the beginning, I just need to start the song. Stuart, Next, next video. I'm gonna start it next year. 2024, guys. I'm just gonna start teaching the song right away. But for now, I'm just gonna keep talking forever. In the song, the guitar has a bunch of delay and reverb. I just have amp settings for that, but like, like a hall style reverb, not a room style reverb. That's not gonna do it for you. And for the delay, you want a very long delay and you want a very slow decay, you guys. So anyway, or just whatever, just push buttons on the amp and turn knobs until it, until it sounds like this. Sort of. He has even more reverb. So much reverb. Makes me sick how much reverb he has. Let's start learning this intro riff finally. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. I should mention this song is in standard tuning. Pointer finger goes on the first fret of the third string from the bottom. Guys, pinky goes on the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom. So that means ring finger third, I'm just, why was I just gonna say the exact same thing again? That makes no sense. With your fingers in that position, you're gonna play the third string from the top all by his lonesome self. Then you're gonna play the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom together. The way I do this is I pluck down on the first note and I do a quick little strum up on those next two notes. But you know, I was watching videos of um, this song live and he seems to pluck down on pretty much anything. So you know what? What you gonna do? We're all different strokes for different folks, am I right? Opinions, we all got one. What's the other thing we all have one of? Teeth. So that was third string from the top all by itself. Then you go down to the next two strings, play those together, and then you're gonna quickly, immediately go right back to the third string from the top by itself again. So that's... Just like that, then there's a tiny little pause, then you're gonna play the second string from the bottom by itself, then go right back to the third string from the top. Finally, the left hand gets to move. Your pinky is gonna move to the third fret on the second string from the bottom, and you're gonna play that note by itself. So here's what we have so far. We're one quarter through. It goes three, four. One, two, here we go, and... Bing, bang, boom. Now, 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 we have to switch chords a little bit. Tiny little chord switch. That first chord we've been playing is an F minor seven chord. Now we are switching to a B flat seven chord, guys. So you've got uh, your fingers in that position, whatever. You're gonna keep your ring finger and your pinky in the exact same places where they were, but you're gonna take your pointer finger and move it to the first fret on the second string from the top, guys. This is our B flat seven chord. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the top, ring finger, third fret, third string from the top, pinky, third fret, second string from the bottom. On this chord, you're gonna play second string from the top, tiny little pause, then you're gonna play second string from the bottom by itself, then you're gonna play third string from the top by itself. So that was great, tiny little pause, Play second string from the bottom again by itself, third string from the top again by itself, then slide your pinky back up to the fourth fret where it was earlier and play that note by itself. We just went. Oh, one, two, here we go. And, uh, uh. Are you ready to play the next chord in the song? Or do you think we should quit? guitar. Let's do the next chord. I think that's a better choice. The next chord is an E flat major chord, guys. It's actually kind of an E, it's like an E flat five, but it sounds like an E flat major in context of the rest of the song. You remember our B flat? We had our B flat seven chord. Then we slid our pinky up to four, remember? Do you remember that? Here's what we need to do now. You're gonna move your ring finger 
one string over. So now it's on the third fret of the third string from the bottom. And your pointer finger is also going to move one string over. So now it's on the first fret of the third string from the top, guys. Play that third string from the top. Now, before I show you what we're going to do on this E flat chord, we should probably play the whole first half of this riff all the way through. Get your fingers ready. Ring finger, third fret, third string from the top. Pointer finger, first fret, third from the bottom. Pinky, fourth fret, second string from the bottom. One, two, very slowly. Ooh. Guys, that was so good. Let's do the exact same thing again. One, two, three, four, and oh. Uh, 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 uh. Now, notice when I'm switching to that E flat chord at the end, my ring finger is not actually getting to that third fret on the third string from the bottom immediately. I'm, I'm like, you know what? I've got my own problems I need to deal with now. Namely, getting my pointer finger to the first fret of the third string from the top. I can get that ring finger note on the third fret of the third string from the bottom sometime very soon. I don't need it right away. I think I'm going to cut that whole thing out of the video. I feel like it was unnecessary. It was a helpful tip, but I said it in a very boring way. Well, I made an attempt to explain that little um, thing in a better way, and it was a Total disaster, just made no sense at all. So I'm just gonna keep my original way of doing it in the video, guys. My nail is broken. It's not badly broken, but can you see? Uh, no, you can't. I can't even, okay. I don't care. I don't get, fine, I'm not gonna show you my nail. All right, second half of the riff. You got your pointer finger, first fret, third string from the top, ring finger, third fret, third string from the bottom, pinky, fourth fret, second string from the bottom. We just played third string from the top all by its lonesome self. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna jump down to the second string from the bottom. That's the one that your pinky is on, on the fourth fret. Then immediately, you're gonna jump back to the third string from the top. Then you're gonna go third string from the bottom, then back to second string from the top. So that was just like, Ba, 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 ba. Just a regular playing one string at a time, up and down kind of situation. So we've got. Then you're gonna play third string from the bottom. And then, and then, and then you're gonna get rid of your pinky and you're gonna play for a first fret. This one right here on the second string from the bottom. Now, if you want, you can just smash your pointer finger down on the first fret of the bottom four strings because it was already on the first fret up here. Or if you'd like, you can, you may. I am allowing you to actually move your finger down there if you really don't want to be bothered with the whole bar chord situation. Um, did any of that make sense? Let's go through that again really quickly. We've got our E flat five chord, guys. You're gonna play third from the top, second from the bottom, back to third from the top. Then you're just gonna go down to the next string, then down to the next string, then you go back up to the string you were just on. So let's just do that. That boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, bow. One, two, a lit slower uh, 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 uh. and then here is where we need that first fret on the second string from the bottom here's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go so what I do is I just take my pointer finger that was pushing on that first fret of the third string from the top and I just smash it down onto the bottom three strings guys bottom four strings actually but let me show you the other way you can you may you're allowed to go I messed up, so you're not allowed to do that. You're a human mess up. We all mess up. We're humans. Are you a human? Guys, what if, what if, what if there's a non-human watching? There could be a cat watching. That's fine. I have no problem with that. I have no problem if aliens are watching or even, or even mutants or ghosts. All right, here we go. This is what I meant to do. Three, four. See how I just moved my, that sounded terrible though, because I hit one of these extra strings. You know what? You're not allowed to do it that way. I take it back. You've lost your, it was, it's a privilege, not a right. Driving is a privilege, not a right. Also, a moving your pointer finger is a privilege, not a right. And I'm taking away that privilege. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got that all sorted out. So now your pointer finger's down here barring these notes. Um, Get your other fingers out of there. Your other fingers are just gonna stop touching, touching all the frets that they were touching, guys. Your pinky needs to stretch all the way to four on the top string, but keep your pointer finger back here. Play four on the top string. Then 
While barring on the first fret over here, you're gonna play second string from the bottom, then play third string from the bottom, then switch from your pinky on four to your ring finger on three of the top string and do that same little picking. Play the top string, then go down to the second from the bottom, and then the third from the bottom. So that was. Would you, would you be so kind as to play that with me? One, two, nice and slowly. Four, uh, three, uh. The chords here, I mean, basically for this whole part, they're not standard ways of playing the chords, but this is like an A flat major chord. And then this right here, I mean, I guess you'd call it an A flat over G. Yeah, it's just an A flat over G. I don't have a better name for it, do you? In the comments, do you have a better name for that chord? You can name it whatever you want. You could name it plata, plata part, plata partimus. This is stupid. I hate, why did I? I'm gonna cut, I am. I literally am gonna cut this out of the video. Like if this is still in the video, then it's a mistake. All right, here's the deal. We're gonna practice this. We're gonna play through it slowly two times, guys. Then I will quickly show you the other little things in the song. But this is the important part here. This is the part you wanna really know. This is like the real part of the song. The meat and potatoes. One, two, one, two, here we go. That was it. That was it twice. We played it twice, just like we said we were going to do. What should we do next? Well, let me tell you this. We're going to call that the main riff, okay? Let's walk through the form of the song quickly. At the beginning of the song, they play the riff, the main riff, dos times, Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. Two times, what? All by itself. You continue to play the main riff two more times, but the drums and acoustic guitar join in on the fun. I'm gonna show you, should I show you the acoustic guitar part right now? I think I should. I'm gonna show you the acoustic guitar part. Be right back, watch this. Oh, I'm gonna do a little editing thing, watch. Watch, okay, I'm gonna get all lined up. With my head by the thing, light switch is here. Here we go. And, how'd it look? Did it look cool? Am I cool? Guys, in the comments, tell me if I'm cool. Fishing for compliments. I'm gonna change this channel to instead of it's called Murray Music Center, I'm gonna call it Fishing for Compliments. This is the acoustic guitar part of the program where I show you what to play if you wanna just strum some chords and you don't wanna worry about all the stretchy chord nonsense, you just wanna strum some chords, sing along with the song and have a nice time at the old campfire. You're gonna need a capo. Put the capo on the first fret. And then there's only four chords, guys. There's well, four and a half. So an E minor chord, A chord, D chord, G chord and the half chord is you just kind of do this one little thing here. So first thing you need is the E minor, top string is open, middle finger second fret next string, a ring finger second fret next string, the rest of them are all open. On this E minor, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna strum down, down, up, down, up. Classic strumming pattern. It's like the Johnny Cash strumming pattern. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. I, why don't you, uh, if everybody jumped off a bridge, would you play the strumming pattern? One, two, play with me. And down, down, up, down, up. Great job. And then you switch to the A chord. Here's how you do that. Here's how you do it, even. You take this E minor chord, jump those fingers down one string. So now they're on the middle two strings. Add your pinky to the second fret of the second string from the bottom. On this chord, you're just going to strum down, up, down, up. So we skipped that second strum. On the E minor, we went strum, strum, up, down, up, then strum, up, down, up. There's a little more space there, guys. Then we go to a D chord. D is middle finger, second fret on the bottom. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. I definitely said that wrong. Second fret on the bottom. Third fret, second from the bottom. Pointer finger, second fret, third from the bottom. Look, I've said it before. I'll say it again. For the D chord, use your thumb to come over the top and mute the top string. If you refuse, then you better just make sure not to hit this top string with your pick. Three four down wait up down up the same strumming we did on the a chord guys after the d you're gonna go to a g chord on the g chord you're gonna go like this down oh i should show you the g middle finger third fret on the top pointer finger second fret second from the top skip the next two strings 
Ring finger on three of the second from the bottom, pinky on three of the very bottom string. This is a G, classic G chord, one of my favorites. You're gonna strum down, then you're gonna lift up your pointer finger and your middle finger, strum up, then put your pointer finger on the second fret of the top string and strum down, then lift up your pointer finger, strum up, and then get ready to start over again with the E minor. Let's play through that whole section two times. One, two, here we go. And E minor, up, down, up, A, rest. Up, down, a D, rest. Up, down, a G, up, second fret, and E minor. I remember when monkey time was here. I said to you, oh, I messed up the strumming on the D chord. I hope you can forgive me. I'm gonna do this. That was the worst one I've ever done. You're all fired, I quit. All right, done with the acoustic guitar. If you don't wanna worry about that whole thing we just did, then don't worry about it. But you probably just already left the video. It doesn't even matter. Hi, my name's Stuart, welcome to the channel. <gasps> I should have invited you to like and subscribe so long ago. Well, you know what? Like and subscribe, guys, to the video. Um, now what's gonna happen? I'm gonna try to make more eye contact with the camera. I'm gonna just kind of adjust that a little bit. I don't know, I lost all interest in recording this video. I also, I legitimately have been trying to make my videos shorter and it's not really working out, guys. I think they're getting longer. So we did the intro. So you do the intro four times at the beginning and then we go into the verse. So the verse is just bass, it's just bass and drums, guys. Let me just show you the bass part really quick. It's super easy. And then if you want, you can like play this bass part and sing, it's great. You're just gonna go like this. You're just gonna play first fret on the top string. You're gonna go bow, bow. Then go to the sixth fret on the top string. Bow, bow. Then go to sixth fret on the second string from the top. Bow, bow. Then go to the fourth fret on the top string and you go four, four, three. Okay? It's that simple. We just go one, one, and then six, six, then down to the next string on six, and then a top string four, then three, and four. I remember when we first said that we loved each other. We were having some food at a restaurant and the check was coming I don't know you that was really good really good guys it's time for the chorus of the song K by cigarettes after sex the the chorus to the song is basically exactly the same as that main riff we basically just do the main riff another two times however I will show you what kind of happens a little bit in the studio recording when he plays it live he just plays the main riff like exactly but in the studio recording there's a tiny little difference get your first chord ready do you remember the first chord it was well I'm not gonna look go watch the beginning of the video where I talked about it this is the first chord however with your pointer finger I'm gonna need you to bar the bottom three strings on the first fret you're not allowed to just play the third string from the bottom anymore now you have to bar the bottom three and at the very beginning instead of playing the third string from the top by itself you're gonna strum the bottom four strings okay so we go then the next couple notes are the same we play second from the bottom and third from the top so it goes just like that okay then Instead of playing second string from the bottom again after that, we're gonna go down to the bottom string, which we're pushing on the first fret. Then you're gonna go third string from the top, and then you're gonna slide your pinky over to three just like we did before. So here's what we just did, guys. We went strum, uh, 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 uh. You see, let's do it one more time. I'll give you a close up of this hand over here. Three, four, strum, second from the bottom, third from the top, bottom third from the top then third fret on the second from the bottom let's just play the whole chorus the riff with those two tiny little differences all the way through very slowly one two three four and strum great so the chorus, we play that two times. Then they just go right back to the totally normal intro riff, the main riff, two times. Then 
they go into the second verse. Second verse is exactly the same as the first verse, where it just has that bass part. Then we go into what I like to call chorus number two, which is exactly the same as chorus number one. You guys, at this point, we get into the guitar solo, and I really don't want to teach it, but I feel like I have to. Let me take a moment to compose myself, and then we will do it. a bunch more delay and reverb because it makes this part sound a lot cooler we're just gonna leave it on we're gonna leave it on pointer finger first fret third string from the bottom ring finger third fret second string from the top excuse me pinky third fret third string from the top guys we've got this little thing a little here whatever okay fine great you're gonna play third string from the bottom then immediately second string from the top then after a quick little break you're gonna go back to the third string from the bottom then immediately go back to the second string from the top then immediately go back to the third string from the bottom and then immediately get rid of your pointer finger and play the third string from the bottom open so that first little hunk went like this so it went three four notice I counted three, four, and then I played that first note, like right after four. I didn't wait for beat one. That's because that first note is a pickup. It's an anticipation of the first beat. It goes one, two, three, four, and oh. Great. Now, keep these two fingers here. You just got rid of your pointer finger, but keep your ring finger or pinky in the same spot. Play second string from the top, then play third string from the top. And then immediately after that, get rid of your ring finger and with your pointer finger, play one on the second string from the top. So that was. Then there's a quick little break, a little pause. Play third string from the top. Then go back to second string from the top. So that was like this, that was. Then get rid of your pinky smash your pointer finger down on the first fret of the second from the top and the third string from the top play third string from the top then immediately play second string from the top and then immediately with your pinky reach up to three on the third string from the bottom yep and play that so that was okay let's let's play everything we have so far up till there one two three four and oh Fun. I had a fun time playing that mistake that I just made. It's too much reverb, guys. I gotta turn it off. Too much. One, two, the solo again. And okay, wait, there's a bad count off. One, two, three, four, and oh. Okay. Immediately after that pinky note, play one on the third string from the top, then take your time and play that three on the third string from the bottom again. Then your pointer finger is gonna smash down on the first fret of the middle two strings, third from the top and third from the bottom. You're gonna play boom, boom, bop. So that was third from the top, third from the top, third from the bottom. Immediately after you play, immediately. Notice that my ability to say the word immediately has suffered and deteriorated as this video has progressed. We just immediately after going, we're just gonna play third from the top on one, then third from the bottom on one again. So that was boom, boom, ba, boom, ba. Then with your pinky stretch to four on the top string. Oh, and then you're gonna play that one on the second from the bottom and one on the third from the bottom. And then you go to three. That's the same thing we just do in the normal main riff. So guys, that's the solo. You ready? We're gonna play the solo all the way through. One, two, three, four. Oh, but then they do it again. Oh, with a little difference. Check it out.
So here's that little thing at the end. Sorry, I forgot. When they, they start it over. They do this twice, but there's a little difference at the, at the very, very, very beginning of the second time through. So they do the four, one, one, three, one, one. Then with your pointer finger, you have to bar on one of every single fret. You're gonna play the top string, which you're pushing a one there. Then you're gonna jump down to the third string from the bottom, which you're also pushing on one. Then go back to one on the top string. Then go back to one on the third from the bottom. Then you're going to release your pointer finger, play the third string from the bottom open. And then at this point, we carry on with the rest of the solo as normal. The rest of the solo means starting from this spot. Remember that part where we went three, three, one, like that? Well, that's exactly the same. This is terrible, this is awful. This is exactly why I didn't want to do the solo. It goes like this. It goes one, one, one. Oh, sh no! I just woke up from a bad dream where I was teaching a guitar solo and it got all mixed up and I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Thank goodness, it was just a dream. Guys, after the solo, there's like a verse three. It's kind of like a bridge because the melody is different, but all you do is you do the exact same thing that you did during the other verses where you just play that bass part. That I remember how the thing was happening when you told me. And then we go back into the intro riff yet again. We do that, dos time, Spanish for two. Okay, then we play chorus three. It's exactly the same as every other chorus. Then you're never gonna believe what we do for the ending of the song. That's right, we play the main riff two more times. And the way we end it is we're just doing the ending of the riff. We do the. Except you don't, you try not to go like this, where your finger just slips off the edge of the fingerboard, but you know. 